Welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video. This time I want to continue with the topic of information gathering as you do reconnaissance on different systems. In a previous video, we went over AMAS, which is an amazing utility created by the AWAS project or organization, I should say. And what that utility allows you to do is to perform reconnaissance and enumerations on organizations. And the utility, you could have different ways of using that for enumerations, for um, reconnaissance, for uh, tracking and compare what has changed since the last scan that you did, and to uh, visualize the uh, data that you are collecting. Uh, in that video, we uh, discovered that sometimes because the, those utilities that you use, they do go to different data sources to collect that information. Sometimes the results that you get um, are not going to be 100% accurate, right? That's why if you're doing reconnaissance and information gathering, you, you have to use more than one utility. Uh, because you need to collect information from different sources and each utility is going to work sometimes in different ways. So the more data you collect, the better. So that's why this time I want to talk to you about Maltigo. Maltigo is an information gathering and data mining solution. It's a graphical user interface that allows you to perform many functions not only on information security related tasks, but also on law enforcement and genital information gathering. In my case, since I am a uh, cybersecurity professional, I use this to do reconnaissance and information gathering on, on the type of uh, organizations that I work with for the services that we provide. But there's another aspect of it that can also be used uh, for different purposes again, like uh, for uh, uh, law enforcement, for instance, they, they could use something like this to collect information. And again, everything that you see here is um, public information. Whatever you're going to find is public. Maltigo just makes it easy for you to collect that information from different data sources and have it in an organized, logical way for you to analyze the data, right? Um, if you scroll down here on their website, you can like see what they do and, you know, they do threat intelligence. That is the, uh, the bread and um, 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 butter of this, even though they're talking about the podcast, I mean, like Maltigo is a threat intelligence, uh, like data gathering information. And as you could see uh, right here, there, there's a section for law enforcement that they could use that. But again, like it's not that they have specific data that publics don't have, but we'll concentrate on the cybersecurity aspect of it. Like how would you use it, right? So um, they do have, uh, it's super simple. If you have a Kali Linux or if you have any uh, information, information security uh, operating system, not operating system, any information security distribution uh, like Kali Linux or Parrot Security or one of the other distributions out there, most of them, um, they, they include this as part of the uh, installation of part of the tools. But you could download this and run it on, on Windows or Mac or, or any, you know, or Linux. And you don't need one of those uh, security distributions to run it. You could run it anywhere. In my case, I do have a, um, in this case, I installed the utility, downloaded and installed it because I am running Ubuntu desktop. It was a clean installation. I didn't have anything. Uh, so the installation is super simple. Just go to the website, uh, you know, download it, and then uh, just uh, just heads up if you want to run this. Uh, it needs Java, uh, at least in the uh, Windows version of it. So you have to install Java. Once you 
uh, run it once you install Multigo and Java then you only have to uh, run this and when you run it for the first time it is going to prompt you which uh, version you want to install and what we're going to be working with is community edition right so the community edition is the uh, free version of Multigo for the community it allows you to perform a lot of the information security gathering uh, related of Multigo uh, for free obviously you're not going to have the advanced filters on, and the advanced reporting that you would get with a paid version but this is enough to keep collecting information as part of your uh, reconnaissance and information gathering right um, the only thing you need to do is um, create an account a free account with Multigo just go to the website and create it from there or when you are following the setup wizard it'll prompt you if you would like to uh, register your account just enter information and then that's going to send you an activation email that you have to click on to activate and then you'll be set to go and that's what I did here there's nothing crazy here just next 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 like any other installation uh, if you uh, come here you have to select depending on the computer that you're running which browser you want to use in my case I always use Firefox here and just click on OK uh, blah 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 yes acknowledge and once it is installed you get to this point now there is no way that I'm going to create only one long video explaining the functions of Multigo because that would take hours, right? But what I want to show you in this video is just what Multigo is, what it's used for. Uh, I briefly talked about what that is, where to download it from, how to run it. It is super simple. And once you are in the um, software, I want to show you how to do the basic navigations, right? So um, in this case, you have the, Mal the Multigo Transfer Hubs, right? And you have the Transfer Hubs Partners. You can install this if they are available to be installed for free. And what this is, is just going to be another data source that you could use to perform your uh, tasks right and you, you'll see it more in details later so let me just come here and I'm going to start a new uh, project a new page just click on the plus sign and just wait for this to do what it's supposed to do okay and um, it took like 30 seconds to open up I guess the reason for that is because this computer is kind of slow. So, okay, so once you are here, these are all the uh, transforms, the, uh, the locations where you can get information, or, or these are the categories you can get information on, right? As you could see, there's a, like many of them, you, you have them categorized, like if you want to do the, crypto, the cryptocurrency or devices or events or groups, companies, you can go through any of these categories and subcategories to find what you are looking for. So let me start with something simple so you have an idea of what it is and how to use it. So I want to get information on a company domain, right? So let me come right here and I'm going to do domain. And uh, in order for you to start the project, what you do, just click on it and drag it over. And where did it go? I don't see it. So let me just do it again. Okay, so here it is. So if you want to do a um, information gathering on one specific domain, first thing you would need to do is just double click here and change the domain name to something else um, let's see what can we use let's use nmap right once you have this you can right click on it 
and that's going to show you all the transforms you could use. Okay, so what are the transforms? What are we referring to? If you click on the plus sign right here, it is all the information that you would like to collect on that specific domain. You have the option of doing all transfer, uh, transforms at once, right? If I click on this double arrow, that's going to run all of them. What are all these down here? Or you could specify the transforms you would like to run. So let me just do all the transforms so you'll have an idea of what information is going to be collected here. Again, you can have an idea of all that information just by expanding them and going through them. Or you could run individual transforms, right? Like individual subcategories uh, if you don't want to run them all. So I'm just going to run them all. And that's going to, you know, like for, from how long to how long, I'm just going to click run. And you are going to notice that it's going to start populating these in a hierarchical way that is going to allow you to discover a lot of the information on that specific domain. So I'm just going to pause this for one second until it's done. So here it is, right? I, I wish I would have I would have selected another uh, domain that is not as vast and well-known as Nmap, but I just wanted to uh, give you an idea. So it's, it's going to be hard to see all the uh, information, but this is going to show you domains, subdomains. It's going to show you DNS servers. It's going to show you even people associated with it. And I don't know if you can see it down here, but it's also going to show you uh, snapshots of the websites on, on Wayback Machine. So all that information that you would have to use many different tools to collect that information, you could do that from one central point. So the thing is that once you get that, you can do sub searches on the results and keep on looking information and keeping um, looking for information based on what you are looking for. So, for instance, if I come here, I see that I have another domain like that is associated with Nmap. It's Nmap PW. That is another domain. We have Nmap uh, .com .br Brazil. So, as you could see, you have the. It's hard to see right here, but you are going to have the association of the domains to the subdomains and to the DNS servers and to everything. As you could see here, we have a name servers, what name servers are given the results. And we have also uh, email addresses associated to the domain. So I saw a, uh, a sales right here, for instance, right? So what can we do on sales? So if we do right click, and you can also do the transforms on on what you have found, right? So let's say that, okay, I want to find more information about, about this sales email address. So I just come here. Okay, run. And as you could see down here, it is showing you what's happening. So now that I have these emails, if I scroll down, You're going to see where it has been used and how it has been associated to the um, uh, to the website, right? Or to the resources from Nmap. As you can imagine, this is only simple. I'm not going to use the word simple. This is information you are collecting on one website, and look how much information is being and displayed. And What's great about Multigo is that it makes it easy to navigate and to collect and to save that information. Again, uh, I use this for reconnaissance. Okay, we're working on a information security assessment. 
we need to collect information, right? So we start like collecting information this way. We use a mask, we use this, and we use other tools to collect the information that we're looking for. Now, as you could see, this is only on a domain, but you could start a new graph right here, like I didn't use this, and you could change this to, if you wanna find out about like crypto, uh, the, the, the addresses of cryptocurrencies, or if you want to make your life easier and if you want to check on the CVEs, right? I, I did a video like like how to uh, search or identify vulnerabilities, right? This is another way you could do it, like in a centralized location, easy for you. Or if you want to, uh, if you come down here, if you want to check out like IP addresses, name records, like almost anything that you would like to um, investigate uh, you're going to find a way to do it right here. And this is the uh, amazing way that Multigo offer this to you, right? So again, uh, how do I use this? I, I only use Multigo for uh, information gathering for reconnaissance purposes. But as you could see, you could the, 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 the use that you can get out of this is is huge. And you could use it for many other purposes that I don't even have an idea. Perhaps you need to find out about like Bitcoin addresses and see how they're associated and so on and so forth. I mean, I guess you could do that right here too. You have a section for uh, social networks too. Again, so I'm just gonna stop the video right here because I realized that we're like on the uh, 16 minutes mark already and I wanted to keep it under 15. I'm gonna, create another video showing you more concrete and direct examples of using uh, Multigo. Um, perhaps you're going to realize that it's something that you would like to use for your organization as you uh, try to protect it or identify what's out there to uh, protect that information. Again, as always, if you found this video useful, please just click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a nice comment. That would be greatly appreciated. It's uh, good to hear from people that, uh, you know, at least that gives me an idea that, you know, like people are, are, are benefiting from this and I'm, I'm not just uploading stuff or uploading stuff. Anyway, have a great day and I will talk to you on the next video.